Hey guys, it's me Jessica aka Makeup Lover and I am here with another video. So uh, today I'm going to do a haul slash review on these Shea Moisture products that I bought from Walgreens a couple months back and they were buy one get one free so I was totally in there and um, yeah if you missed the sale I'm really sorry but um, every single time I know about these sales I post them on my Instagram so next time they have a sale and you really want to know make sure that you're following me um, I'll have my Instagram uh, down here and yeah so and I'll link all these products as well so let's get started Okay, so I'm going to start off with the shampoos because who doesn't love a good shampoo? Okay, the first one I have is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Deep Cleansing Shampoo with Tea Tree and Willow Bark Extract. This is for dry and itchy scalps. Uh, for people that have dandruff, uh, eczema, por psoriasis, don't know what that is. But yeah, I really love this stuff. It's very liquidy and tends not to lather as much as other shampoos, which is actually a really great way for you to know that it's not stripping your hair of, the, of its natural oils and the moisture that it naturally has. So I really love this shampoo. I don't have um, that much of a dry, itchy scalp. I use this more as a preventative measure or if, I, if my hair is ever really dry, um, for some reason then I use it but other than that I don't tend to use this one as much um, the next one I have is the Jamaican black castor oil strengthen grow and restore shampoo with shea butter uh, apple cider vinegar this is for naturally chemically processed color treated or heat styled hair so basically this is for all hair types and this will clarify nourish and help grow your hair I really love this um, as well I use this way more um, I got this more recently than the other one um, this one I don't know if they still sell this line or if it's discontinued um, the one with the black packaging but I'll try to find a link for it for you but this one's one of their newer lines and again it does the same thing it doesn't really lather as much so it's not going to strip your hair of those natural oils and the moisture um, so I really love it um, this is supposed to like I say help grow and strengthen your hair Okay, so now I want to move on to the conditioners and I have the Jamaican black castor oil strengthen grow and restore treatment mask with shea butter peppermint and keratin and again this is for all hair types and this just kind of goes with the shampoo as you guys know when you use lines um different lines it's good to use like the same products from the same line because it will um just enhance your the amount that your hair will actually do what it says so yeah so i use these together and i love their masks they're so freaking thick as you guys can see look at all that gorgeous thickness uh yeah but i really love it and it smells good also like another thing is none of these things smell bad i love it they have a very natural smelling smell like they come from natural like chemicals and things like that um the only thing i would say is i wish that these mask tubs were bigger because i only use like these twice well i can use this whole one up in two treatments so i only use these once a month and like I said, I can use this whole one up in two treatments. So I use these once a month, so I use the whole thing up about two months. But yeah, I just wish they were a little bigger. The Super Fruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System with Marula Oil and Biotin. It's a hair mask. And the 10 things it does is it age defies your hair, uh, color protect, hydrate, Nourish, soften, anti-stress, deep condition, revive body, strengthen, and shine. So those are all the things it does for your hair. I haven't used this one yet. I haven't come up on my next deep treatment that I should be doing in my hair, but I should be coming up on it in a couple of weeks, so I will use this. And I was thinking about buying the shampoo and stuff that goes with this, so if you guys want like a separate review just on the Super Fruit Complex line, I can totally do that. So like this video if you guys want me to do that. Um, yeah, but like I said, I haven't used this one, but it's just as thick, and I even like the scent of this one more because it has more of a fruity, fragrancy scent, which is um, very different from all the other stuff that they use because the other ones usually have a very natural, earthy scent, and this one has more of a fragrancy, fruity scent. So I like that they changed it a little bit up with this one, especially with the packaging because it's like a purpley color. Yeah, so I like this. 
Then we have the Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner with Sea Kelp and Argan Oil. And this is for dry damaged hair. It will help heal, grow, and strengthen. I love this line. All the ones with the yellow packaging, guys, are probably one of the best that they have. I always end up going back to this, um, but I try to switch it up because I don't want my hair to get used to it. Uh, but I use this one as more of a rinse out conditioner. The ones with the pumps I use with the I, I use as a rinse out conditioner. So I leave it in my hair for five minutes and then I rinse it out. But I really love this stuff and I use it every time I you know want to go from straight hair to curly hair or if I've put a lot of heat on my hair for some reason or anything that I feel like was very damaging to my hair, I put this on afterwards because it is a restorative conditioner. Next, I have style products. I don't have much style products, but I do have a couple. This one is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie with Silk Protein and Neem Oil for Thick and Curly Hair. This will help for anti-frizz, moisture, and shine. Now, these are for my curly hair ladies, the girls that have very, very curly hair and want to either enhance those curls, you know, make them pop more. Um, I actually don't really like this. I've used this a couple of times, and I've had it for a while. I love the smell and everything. It's nice and thick, but I don't like it. It leaves my hair very um, flaky. It puts like flakes in my hair after the product is, I guess, you know, used up. I don't know. But it just leaves my hair very flaky. And I don't have dandruff or anything. I really, my scalp is not dry. My hair is not dry because I put so much stuff, um, so much oil and stuff in it to moisturize it. So my hair is not dry in the least, but it leaves my hair flaky and a very greasy, oily feeling. So like if my hair ever touches my face, I don't like it because it like will put the grease and oil on my face. And I just, ugh, it's not my favorite. I'll probably give this away. This is a very hit or miss product. A lot of people like it and then a lot of people hate it. So, you know, you'll either like it or hate it. So I definitely would say this is something you'd have to try for yourself. Then I have the Raw Shea Butter Extra Moisture Detangler with Sea Kelp and Argan Oil Dry and Damaged Hair. It um, will heal, strengthen, and grow. I love, love, love this detangler, guys. It is so different than any other detangler I've used, and, you know, detangling is such a task. Uh, usually they come in, like, these very watery formulas that you just spray in your hair, and this one is very, like... It's kind of watery, kind of liquidy, but then it, it, it has like an oily finish and it's very thick. So I don't know. When I put this on my curls, it just makes the comb like glide right through. And I really love this stuff. If you're like a 4C hair, I think my hair is like 4C, um, and you have trouble detangling, I would really try this because... My hair is like butter when I put this on. Like butter. Okay, so the next thing I have is the... Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Restorative Hair Serum with Shea Butter and Rosemary. I love this stuff. It's not a serum. I don't know why they put serum because I don't think this is a serum. It's a little bit too watery, too runny, I mean, to be a serum. This is definitely an oil. So when you guys see the packaging, um, please don't mistake it as a serum. It's definitely an oil. Um, and if you don't like oils, if you think oils are very heavy or whatever, this is not heavy in the least. It's actually very light and it kind of makes my hair soft and it smells really good. And like I said, it goes with the other um, Jamaican black castor oil line. So I try to use all of these together. But um, this stuff, amaze balls. And I put this in my hair maybe like every other day, so I use a lot of it. And it just continues to make my hair really um, soft and like shiny and strong. So I definitely would recommend this. And then my last thing that I think is my most favorite product is the Shea Moisture Yucca and Boa Bob Thickening Growth Milk with Biotin and Bamboo Extract. For fine and thin hair, it will strengthen, thicken, and volumize. I love thick hair. I already have very thick hair, but this is supposed to help, you know, thicken it even more and even more. So I definitely like to put this around my edges to make sure that my edges stay strong as well as the rest of my hair. I put this on right before I flexi rod my hair and guys, like, I swear, this is what has kept my hair together from all the stuff that I've done to it already. And it smells good. It smells like, kind of like baby powder. 
like baby powder, like baby shampoo. I think I got it on my nose. <laughs> but yeah, it smells like like a baby powder or baby um or like baby shampoo. I think I'm like halfway out. Um, when I for I haven't seen this one in stores in a long time, so I'll I'll find it and put the link to it. But it's freaking amazing. Okay, that's all that I have for my Shea Moisture haul. I really love Shea Moisture products and I know I need to like reach out and try something new because I've been using this stuff for a long time. Like a long time. So probably I've used this ever since I decided to go natural and I decided to um, transition before I did my big chop and then I did my big chop and so I've just been using these nonstop since I decided to become natural and they have helped me through my process so much. So if you're thinking about going natural or you're transitioning and it's just been a hard process, I would definitely recommend getting these products because it made my transitioning process so much easier and it's making me being natural a lot easier too. I will, like I said, leave all the links below. If you have any questions, let me know. And I think that's it. So again, I'm Makeup Lover, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!